Hi everyone, welcome to Testing Insights by Mukta Sharma. I hope you had a great Diwali celebration at home with your family and friends. In this video, we will be talking about what is retesting and regression testing in software testing. This video is mainly for freshers or the beginners in software testing. If you are an experienced professional and watching this video, please put down your comments so that it will be helpful for everyone. So let's start with retesting and regression testing. Don't get confused between these two terms because these are different ones. These are not same. Retesting. As the name suggests, retesting, you are executing something again to make sure that the build is working fine. For example, you have raised a defect. You have sent it to developer. Developer has fixed the defect for you and he has given you a build. Um, in, in next release and sometimes they give you in couple of days that depends upon the company process that you have right so when they give you a fix you will execute the same test again to make sure that the defect is fixed which you have raised this is called as retesting when you do retesting there are basically three stages happens one you say retest failed if the build if the fix is not working fine you say retest is failed another one is retest blocked for example something is blocking you to retest that particular functionality functionality then you say retest is blocked then third one is retest verified and close when you say when the functionality is working fine you say that the okay build which developer has given you uh, that is working fine you are able to execute your test case you are able to validate that particular feature is working fine because of the new fix that is all about retesting now regression testing regression testing comes into play when there are new features being added into the already existing system or when something is removed from the system sometimes what happens is because of so and so uh, business discussion they remove some features from the already existing system then you execute a particular set of test cases to make sure that the already built system is not impacted because of this new change second scenario when new features are being added into the already existing system then you execute a particular set of test cases to make sure that the already existing system is working fine. That is not broken down because of the addition of new features. The old functionality is still intact. There is no damage to the system when something new is added or removed from the system. You have a whole suite. So you um, choose some particular uh, test cases and make a new regression test suite and you execute it and then you update your result in order to verify that the regression testing is working fine whether it is stable or not stable this is about regression testing if you have any more doubts we can discuss in the comments i hope this video is helpful to you keep learning and keep growing i will see you in the next video bye bye